Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to go over the F1 and F2 error code for the LG gas range model number that starts with LRG3091S. So if this is your model, this video is for you. So the F1 means open sensor. F2 means shortest sensor. So this pops up when the main control board indicates that the, re the line remains open within a minute duration time of cooking. Vice versa for the F2 shortest sensor, if the short is detected by the main control board within, within one minute duration time of cooking, it will show these codes. So if you get one of these codes, we'll have to check the main control board and the sensor itself by checking the wiring and the oven sensor. So right here we have the F1 and the F2. And it says here to check the wiring, we're gonna check the test mode basically which checks the main control board make sure it's reading the thermistor correctly and this is the room temperature range it should be 1.06 to 1.12 k ohms which k ohm means a thousand so one k ohm is a thousand ohms so on your multimeter if it's digital digital it should read like 1.06 uh, in this uh, range right here you have the main control board And right here you have the PCB. Okay, right here is your oven sensor. So this will be the first thing we will check because this is what the error code indicates. That's bad. So you'll unplug the unit and do this at your own risk. Unplug a unit, disconnect this from the main control board. It'll be a harness. Later on here in the video, I'll show you where it looks like and where it's at. Okay. Disconnect it, you'll hook your multimeter up, turn your multimeter on ohms, set in, because we're, such, we're checking resistance, okay? You'll hook your multimeter up to this oven sensor, disconnect it. It should read with the room temperature, so say in your home or inside your oven, you know it's in this temp between 65 and 85 Fahrenheit. You should read one point. 06 to 1.12 here on your multimeter. So I'm gonna draw my little funny multimeter. Check out my artwork, horrible, but there, that's my multimeter, okay? So we should read that reading. One, even if we read 1.09, we're in that range, okay? Say if we read, so it says here, 1.12. Say if we read like 3.12, Oh, 09 this is way off very off so that means we would have like a a bad uh sensor vice versa if we read uh 30 ohms without the k just 30 ohms that would be a bad sensor so we replace it so say if it read open line op on your multimeter that means there's a cut in between the line. There's no no connection or it's just a bad open sensor itself. So we will have to check to make sure the harness is connected uh, between these lines because there's a harness that you can, I'll show you here later, we'll check the sensor itself too through the harness. Um, or if your multimeter is old school or if it's just digital and it says 0, 0.00 or 0, 0.01, you know, that's a bad sensor because it needs to be 1.06 k ohms to 112 at this temperature okay so if it reads open line it's bad if it reads 0, 0.00 just depends on the multimeter it's bad or if the resistance reads way off like 3.09 k ohms or if it reads very low uh 30 ohms 100 ohms or a thousand ohms well not a thousand but 900 so this is the harness that you will have to check. You can disconnect this to say if you did read open line on the previous text. So if you wanna know if it's the wiring from the main board to this point is bad or to this point, or like I said, it could be just the sensor itself. You can disconnect this harness and then you can put your multimeter in 
and check the harness direct. That way you can check your temperature or the resistance I meant. So if you do read this from there, that means your temperature prong sensor, the mister, whatever you want to call it, is good. But if it reads open line from here, that means it's either opening the line, which I doubt is this is the sensor itself. But say if it does pass, it does pass, more than likely it's going to be your main board. So now let's go to the next step. So the error code F1, F2 error code. So as it states here, just check to make sure it's connected well, which uh, if we did check this already from, the, you know, we disconnected, we checked it, it reads well with the temperature. We know that the, the prong temperature sensor is fine. Okay. So we're going to put the main control board into the test mode which is a very good test. Okay, let me erase this because it's gonna be in my way and my artwork is horrible. So to enter this test mode, you're gonna do the following steps. You're gonna press the clear key button. Then you're gonna hold the bake and the brew key same time. One second. Then the fault code will appear, okay? Then right away, you're going to hit the old, hold the bake, the brew key at the same time again. Okay? Then the software version will appear in the display mode. Then you'll press the key time once. Okay? So from here, it'll be going back from step one, which is the, uh, let me see, step one, they call it the display mode. Yeah, display mode. There we go. Okay, then it will go to step three, which will show the temperature that the main control board recognizes. Okay, so if this corresponds with the temperature in your home or that, the, that you think that's inside the oven safe is 75 or in this region 77 or 74, you know, close enough, but say if this reads a hundred Fahrenheit and you know it's say for example 84 or 75 well that's going to be a main control board problem vice versa if it's 60 Fahrenheit and it's reading 84 example of it means there's a, there's a big difference there so that's going to be your main control board but at room temperature 65 95 Fahrenheit uh, this this uh, temp value should be fairly close to whatever the temperature is inside your oven. I hope that makes sense. So if it doesn't correspond right, replace the main control board. Well, I hope this video was helpful. And please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Have a good one.